Hi everyone. Not many people have seen a snowflake with their own eyes. They've often seen a digitalized version. I'm gonna show you how to photograph them now. Stay tuned. Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions in recent weeks while I've been trying to get this channel off the ground. Now today, the weather forecast in the UK right now is for um, the possibility of wintry showers. Now, as is normal with the weather forecast in the UK, the chance of catching snow is a stab in the dark. Now, it's been forecast now for a couple of days, and last night I was expecting us to have some wintry showers um, for a photograph that I was planning, but there's nothing. Now, I'm looking outside now, and the skies look full of snow. Um, saying that, it isn't snowing just yet, but I've got the feeling that we might catch a few snowflakes. Now, we haven't had any decent snowfall here in the northeast of England for quite a while. Uh, I think we had like one day last year, and even that was quite poor. The year before, I managed to use this technique, what I'm about to show you, and actually photograph snowflakes just with my smartphone. So you'll need just a couple of things. You'll need a couple of things. Smartphone, this is me works mobile phone. I don't have like a really old iPhone. I'm using it for illustration. You'll need some sellotape and you will need an old film camera. Preferably one that you've got at home, that you've discarded, that the, the film's no longer used or one that you've bought that you're gonna discard shortly. All we need out of it is one piece and that is gonna be the center eyepiece just there. Eyepiece, lens. You're gonna need those items just for to kind of go through this, this technique. So the lens on your mobile phone, even though smartphones are getting so much better these days in terms of uh, their capability in taking photographs and whatnot, I like using this because I like to try things that are a little kind of outside the box, um, that are cheap, cheerful, uh, or cost nothing at all. Uh, some of the add-on lenses, what you can get for the back of your, your mobile phones these days, I price them, price them up on Amazon, and they range from kind of mid-20s up to about 70 quid for an add-on lens to go on the back of your mobile phone. Now, I'm gonna use this as an example. This is me, my works phone, like I've just said. The camera on the back, um, you can activate it, you can take a photograph, you can use the function on the mobile phone to zoom in, but then the quality starts to degrade of the photograph, uh, depending on what it is that you use in the lighting conditions and so forth. For this kind of example, if it was snowing right now, I would get my phone out, you know, try and take a picture of a snowflake and it wouldn't work very well. That's just simply because the camera's capability won't allow me to zoom in in finer detail. That's where this comes in. That's where that tiny little lens in the center comes in handy because that is gonna sit over this lens here with sellotape, you know, cheap and cheerful. And that's gonna allow us slightly better magnification in order to zoom in on those snowflakes to pick up that finer detail. I'm keep looking outside because I, snow is, is imminent. Like I've just said, the skies are full. Um, it's either gonna absolutely chuck it down with rain or it's gonna snow. To me, it looks like it's gonna snow, but fingers crossed. So we're gonna have to pull this apart. So a couple of things to bear in mind before we get started. I've already said what equipment you're gonna need for to um, fit the lens to the back of your smartphone. Again, the film camera, some sellotape, a screwdriver or, or what have you, just to kind of prise open the film camera. But when you actually get down to the nitty gritty, if it's snowing outside and you think, right, okay, I'm gonna use this, go outside, take some photographs. You want something that's gonna be able to catch the snowflakes for you to be able to photograph them. And that is what I use, and it's, it's used, you know, the, the past few times that it's snowed, is a woolen scarf, what I've got, a woolen hat, um, a glove, a woolen glove. 
I say woolen because that's important because when you're actually zooming in on the photographs, uh, sorry, zooming in on the snowflakes, those kind of fibers help to fix a snowflake into place. The, it just adds that kind of bit of extra dimension to the, to the image. Now I'll show you some pictures shortly of the, the snowflakes that I've managed to photograph with this technique, but th th that's basically it, what you, you're gonna need. Preparation wise, yes, we're gonna need snow. Yes, you're gonna have to watch the weather forecast, but you're gonna have to pay attention to what's actually falling out of the sky. Now, when I've used this technique, on a handful of occasions, have I actually managed to catch, capture, individual snowflakes with with any kind of great detail. Now the reason for that is the snowflakes have either been too solid, as in hail, uh, they've been too dense, as in quite big, chunky, clumped together snowflakes. The individual snowflakes, if you haven't seen them before, are absolutely phenomenal. I was blown away when I first seen a snowflake with my eye. All I done, and I still remember it, I, I kind of thought, right, I'll use, I'll use this technique, but I went outside, it was snowing, I put the, the, uh, the scarf just outside, let it kind of stay outside for a few seconds, bring it in, and almost instantly, I seen one snowflake with some structure to it. So I used the lens on the back of the, 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 the phone, turned on the light, zoomed in on the snowflake, click, got the picture, perfect, perfect detail on this snowflake. I'm absolutely over the moon that it's snowing. Um, so, go outside, take the scarf, make sure that the lens is clean uh, on the back of your camera, make sure the tiny lens is clean and fixed to the back with a little bit of sellotape. 
go outside with a woolen hat, a scarf, glove, um, hold it up to the snowfall and uh, look with your eyes to see if you can see any definition to the snowflakes. Uh, you might be able to see some for sure. Um, and then zoom in with the, the lens on the back of your, your phone. So these snowflakes are quite small and defined, which is excellent. This is the kind that we'll want. Some of the snowflakes haven't got any definition to them, um, but the odd few have. Okay, so you can see that I'm just, uh, I've got the um, scarf outside. I've made sure that it's, you know, not warm. It's not a warm object. Um, it's snowing fa fairly, it's starting to get more heavy. Um, it was light, but now it's starting to snow quite quite heavily. The snowflakes are definitely uh, well defined. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just leaving the scarf out like that, just for a few minutes. And then what I'll do is I'll turn uh, the camera around and start to photograph the snowflakes with the lens attached to the back. And enjoy the pictures, enjoy photographing the snowflakes because I tell you what, it's great when you actually see them close up and you can actually image them with your, with your own phone. Cheers guys.